In this unit circle survival guide, we're going to find the exact value of the secant of 11 pi over 4 using the SARC method. So here's an outline of the SARC method, and SARC is simply our acronym to remember all of the steps for calculating an exact value so that we get an accurate answer. So the S stands for sketch the angles, terminal side. The A helps us think ASTC, which helps us decide the final sign of our exact value. R We'll find the reference triangle and the coordinates to perform the calculation, the C. So we'll calculate our trig ratio. And we're going to do this with the secant of 11 pi over 4. Okay, so to start out, we want to sketch our angle's terminal side. And we're going to make one tweak to our angle to help us better sketch. And that's to find a coterminal angle. So notice that 11 pi over 4 is actually more than one counterclockwise rotation. And so we're going to subtract a full rotation, which is two pi, and that will help us better sketch, uh, more accurately sketch the terminal side. All right, so let's first go ahead and find that coterminal angle. So we have 11 pi over four, and we want to subtract two pi, but let's write it as eight pi over four. So we have that common denominator. So then we find that three pi over four is coterminal to 11 pi over four. And what that means is they share the same terminal side. You rotate differently to get there. You rotate one more counterclockwise rotation to get to 11 pi over four, but their terminal side is in the exact same location. All right, so let's sketch the terminal side. So here's zero, here's pi. So break it into quarters. We have one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four. So here is our terminal side for both 3 pi over 4 and our angle in consideration 11 pi over 4. We have it right here in the second quadrant. Okay, so second, we're going to use ASTC to determine which trig functions are positive or negative in each quadrant. Um, so ASTC, think all students take classes, will tell us which ones are positive, And then, of course, all the others are negative. So working around from quadrant one, we have all are positive. Sine and cosecant are the only ones positive in quadrant two. Tangent and cotangent are positive in three. And cosine and secant are positive in quadrant four. So we care here about quadrant two, only sine and cosecant are positive. We're trying to find the secant. Thus, we know our final answer must be negative. And what this does, finding the final sign early, um, so meaning positive or negative, will help us in that we can simplify our calculations. When we find the reference triangle and coordinates, we will just work in quadrant one. When we calculate, we won't have any negative signs. And that's because we've already determined our final answer for our exact value is negative. All right, so now let's find our reference triangle and coordinates. A reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from your terminal side of your angle to the x-axis. So here we had 3 pi over 4 was the coterminal angle. If you rewrite pi as 4 pi over 4, it's really easy to see then that you rotate 1 pi over 4, and that's your reference angle. So pi over 4 is equivalent to 45 degrees, so we're going to be getting our coordinates from the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. Here's the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And the coordinates that go with that are square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. And that's using your special right triangle knowledge. So now that we have our coordinates, we're ready to calculate. And we know that the secant of an angle in the unit circle is simply the reciprocal of cosine. And cosine is just our x coordinate on the unit circle. So the secant is just 1 over x. So to calculate that, we see you could write that out as 1 over square root of 2 over 2. And really what that's going to do is flip that fraction in the denominator to 2 over root 2. Now you do have to rationalize this. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you'll see, oh, it's this reciprocal of square root of 2 over 2. I just know that's the square root of 2 because I've done this so much. So once you practice enough, you'll just be able to make that jump um, and you'll know the reciprocal is just off the top of your head. But for now, let's go ahead and rationalize. So we can't leave a radical in the denominator. So multiply by square root of two over square root of two. And that adjusts it. So we have two root two over two, which of course simplifies to the square root of two. 
In step two, we found that our final answer should be negative. We already made note of that. So the secant of 11 pi over four is just negative square root of two. And that's all there is to it. Exact values using the SARC method. I'll post a link to more worked examples in the video description, and I'll also post the playlist if you are wanting help with any of the skills involved in this method. Thanks for watching and good luck with your exact values.